now we talked about what can a flow do but let's see when can i invoke it right when can i trigger a flow if you have if you are someone who has worked with the previous automation tools like workflows and process builders you knew that if if a record is created created or updated or it met a criteria or maybe a certain time period these were the four things pretty much that covered the invocation part of it like when can i invoke it but now if you notice here when a record is created edited deleted created or updated after a scheduled amount of time a specific point in time 22nd december okay 25th uh, december at 10 am i want to send out a christmas greeting to all my users can i do that with flows yes can be done and then after six days i want to send a new new year invitation can i do that yes can be done okay do you want to invoke something after a form is sub submitted yes can be done when a quick action button is clicked what is a quick action it is nothing but when you open a record and on the top you see the highlights panel that shows you some specific set of fields and you have some buttons available when you click on one of the buttons can you have a user fill in a survey for you yes that can be done and let's say you want to click a button and you want to send some data to third party can that be done by flows yes can be done okay so it can also be called it can also be invoked when it is called by another process builder or a flow okay you can also be called by uh, apex or even a platform even messages received so this is a uh, advanced topic these are advanced topics but you should know that okay if i have a platform event trigger and it is received by the system a flow can be invoked with it okay so these are the trigger points that flows let you use to invoke some logic to satisfy business requirements okay a lot of theory enough of it i know but spend some time with me in this first first set of uh, 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 theoretical concepts and then when we jump into the actual use cases and we try to practice and see how things work it will be easier okay and i would encourage you to look at this particular first half of the video or the first section wherein i'm explaining things on the keynote maybe more than once not just look at it once because that's a lot of information to take in okay